Mm, so, I was 16 once. <laughs> okay, well, when I was 16 years old, I was very much into something kids should not be doing. Like talking to strangers online. Mind you that I was still pretty much a kid and I wasn't really interested in finding myself a boyfriend or even friends. The thing is it was a dating site with a, you know, rating system with the top 10 for guys and girls. And uh, I was childishly competitive, I guess, because of course, obviously I wanted to be that number one girl. Also, even back then I was very much into photography and Photoshop, I was in art school, so I just wanted to show off my skills with my Photoshop to the level of fashion magazine, or so I thought, pictures. I actually always was in and out of top 10, and a couple of times I was number one, but it gave me nothing. I would get tons of messages, but majority of guys would not even believe that I was real. And I, I think I even got blocked a couple of times because of it. Anyways, long story short, I was incredibly vain. I craved attention. I had some issues, clearly. Of course, there were a couple of guys I've talked to, but everybody else were in a no reply zone. I used to be that girl. But then I met him. The boy who was not like the others. First of all, he was a definition of the word cute. He looked like a doll or a cartoon character. Second of all, he was very, very honest in his profile. He was just a couple of years older, a couple of inch taller, and equally inexperienced. He wasn't intimidating like all the other guys. He was literally a kid, just like me. So it was much easier to talk to him because he never asked for me. Because he never acted inappropriately. <laughs> And overall, he was more like a friend because he had no idea how to be romantic or how to flirt, all that kind of stuff. He told me once that he wanted to kiss me. Once! Oh, by the way, it was way before any modern social media. I, I didn't even have a cell phone back then. So we had to stick to the online chatting or the home phone calls, like on a house phone, like this one with, with the cord, you know. So we were talking for three months. Oh, he was very serious. We consider this online phone romance very seriously. We were talking every day, every night. We were fighting, breaking up, getting back together, throwing I love you's at each other. Everything over the phone, not even knowing each other in real life. This freaking argument. I swear to God, I still cannot get over this stupid thing. But then, yeah, after three months, we decided to finally meet. He actually lived 5 minutes away from my art school, so I have no idea what took us so long. So the day come, we were going to meet at the dark alley behind my school. I know. It was late in the evening, I came super early because I wanted to be there first, because I had no idea how to approach him or what to say if he was there first, you know what I mean? Looking back, I'm realizing that it was incredibly stupid and dangerous. But anyways. I waited for an hour, it was freezing outside, I was so nervous, I felt nauseous, but then I saw him coming, or running. It was him, a baby-faced boy I fell in love with online. He was smiling, he was sincerely happy to see me, he had a little box with a present for me in it, he pulled me into a time brace, he smelled fantastic, he called me baby, and then he swallowed my head. I'm not even exaggerating, it, he showered me with his saliva. He was sucking my face into his mouth with the power of the vacuum cleaner. Everything in that so-called kiss screamed. I learned this from inappropriate videos. I'm not even kidding, his tongue went literally into my nose. You think I pushed him away? Like, what the hell man, don't lick my tonsils. Nah, -uh, I just, I just froze in shock. I, I still don't know why you decided that it was an appropriate way to kiss somebody. Why you decided that it was a kiss in the first place? I don't know why I didn't run away, but I kind of agreed to go with him to the nearest square with the Christmas tree that was like 20 minutes walk away. And every 5 minutes, we would stop and he would kiss me again. Same way he kissed me the first time. Ew! I went home totally confident that it was over. Our online history thing, romance seemed so stupid to me. I didn't want to talk to him when he called because I still stink like his mouth. And I wasn't even sad about breaking up with him because I guess the way he made me feel during this physical contact was a huge deal breaker. We just had no chemistry together. But guess what? The very next day we met again. I don't know why. 
I was bored, I guess, and I wanted to tell him, like, you freaking terrible at this, man. I don't really remember what happened, but I know that I kissed him, and it kind of gave him a clue of how to do it. Yeah, like I was an ex, but no, no, no. I actually think the majority of girls are naturally good kissers. It never seemed like a, like a big deal to me. I just knew what to do. It was obvious, you gotta be just soft and gentle and, you know, respectful. So yeah, that boy learned how to kiss, and maybe a month later, he was actually legit 10 out of 10, I swear to god. And at the times when I was mad at him, he was freaking 11 out of 10. We dated for a year, and yeah, that's it. So that was my first kiss story. What was your first kiss like? Magical? Weird? Nothing special? Disgusting just like mine? Comment below, I wanna know. And if you're a girl who didn't have your first kiss yet, don't even worry about it. I cannot imagine how you can mess it up. And if you're a boy, just, I don't know, be delicate, I guess. Well, that's it. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. I'm planning to do something cool there. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.